So, good evening, or no, good afternoon, folks. So, I want to wire this up today, and I know I counted for it here. Well, I can't remember how I wired it up, or even if it's live, so I'm going to find out now. I'm going to give it a quick test, split these, just quickly join them, and then turn on all my um, switches, and I'll let you know. Okay, peel them back. Strip them, join them, and have a look. What I've done is just quickly just wrapped them around my hose so they don't touch. And then let's go and see if this baby lights up. Now I know that this one is your main lights. I can't remember, I can't remember, I can't remember. Oh, not that one, that's the under lights, that's under the kitchen. <coughs> and that one, I think, is under the bed. Yeah. So hopefully, if I've wired that up correctly, if not, I'm taking that apart. Let's go and have a look. So, that's a no, because there should be the time on there. And the voltage, I think. Hmm. I'm going to switch them all on in case I double them up. I wouldn't have thought I would. I don't think I would have done that. No, nope, still nothing. Right, panel's got to come off. Open-headed screwdriver, and it's just those four. See that? One, four, three, four. Not keen, I'd say, because I usually end up disturbing a wire, but it's got to be done. So, right, let's fire them all off. Bum, 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 bum. All right. We are big plastic ones. Four of them. Ooh. Three, four. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So we're, we're still getting from the solar panel 13.2 volts, and it's quite a dull day actually. And 13.1 in my in my batteries. Turn that off. Goes up. Turn it on. Right. So here we go. Oh, the rubber seals come off. It's a waterproof box, this was. No problem. So, there we all are. I don't know if they're all wired up or not. Oh, here we go. I saw them. So, I didn't wire them up. That one's a spare, and we got some here as well. But all the blacks are wired up. Uh, can you see that? Uh, that is a buzz bar. This is a bus bar. Bus bar for neutral. So, all my neutrals go to here. All my lives are on the switches here. They're all connected to the switches, as you can see. So I need to undo them and have a look what's in there. So once I've trimmed this out and have a look what's behind it, just very gently, I don't need to find the black. I just need to find a red, because it's the red, because all the blacks are already connected. Ooh, that's it. I'm pulling them back. So one of these reds goes to the back, and that's the one I've got to find out which one it is. And there you go. And one of these little beauties. That is a mains. That was going to be for the fridge, but we never bothered in the end. So I'll retake that up. It's not even connected the other end, so that's fine. That's not connected anywhere. So one of these goes to the back. I know that the other two, let me just show you. Right, let's zoom out a little bit. So one is a separate light, which is going to go there, or a fan. But I put this directly then to the inverter, uh, which, no, not the inverter, to the solar panel, which powers it nicely from the batteries as well. And I've got another one there in the roof. 
Oh, right. I've also got another one. Well, not yet. This is wired. You can't probably see that. By this big fire extinguisher. Uh, where is it? There it is. There. That's a little USB. Difficult to get to because this is a, a, a small chair we put in when we went to France and took my daughter. So I bought this off uh, eBay and then... Um, it was 50 quid, I think, or 30 quid. And we bolted it through the floor with massive big plates underneath. Right, anyway, that's a different story. Let's uh, crack up with this, trim these back and find out which one of these little monkeys. I can do that quite easy by just finding a live and I can go from that live there as long as I know that it's switched on. So let's have a look. So this one, so the first one, the main one's lights. The second one is that USB switch I just shown you, the little USB device. So I'm going to wire to that when I find out which one it is. So I'll put him on. That means he's live. He's the second one in. So I just have a look here. Which one is he? That one there. Find out where he goes. That's a bit of a bugger to get to, I must admit. Hmm. Right. I'll have to tap into that. I'll have to just break that in tap into it but I've got to find which one of these it is first so I've gone to those two first I've gone to the smallest wire which is guaranteed to be the one and hold on if I can do this let me see if I can show you and maybe not let's have a look hold on so if I bring you down here and you so you keep an eye on that, not the porta potty, that. Watch what happens. This should now become live. Whoa! Right, so I found out which one it is, so now I need to know to do is connect it to the right switch. So here we go, 13.6 volts. So I've wired it to that one there, not wired it, pushed it into that, but I've got to go to which one was it? I think it was this one, wasn't it? So I've got to split that and put it in there. And then that will run both the USBs at the same time. Okay, so you've probably seen these before. Get them in focus. These little clips where you're pushing there with a pair of pliers. So if I split, I've got to find number two. This is number two. So I'm going to have to split number two and then connect it. Again, and I'm going to have to extend the wire this one oh no maybe yes i'm gonna to have to extend that wire a bit and put some tape on that as well can you see that focused in there i'm gonna to have to extend this one because it's the shortest one guaranteed to be because that's what they're like when you're doing a job like this it's always the one which is either the furthest away or the most difficult to get to catch you in a sec so if you can see me properly i'm hoping you can so what i've done i've snipped him I'm going to cut him short. Oh, I've already cut him short. I'm going to cut that one off there. Don't leave any bits of wire lying around. We don't want to short. And then we're going to put all these three together. But what we're going to do is use this clip and put... Where are we? Probably get two in there. Like so. Like that. Put this one in there, I don't want it coming out, it can come out a little bit, it doesn't matter, like so, and then we get a pair of pliers, and with the magic, if we squeeze that, really hard, and then what we hopefully, that that light, so when I switch number two, I switched it off of course, we don't want to short, we'll just disconnect you. Well, I don't think that crimps are good enough, I'm going to have to change that, I'm going to have to actually join them, see if I can find a, um, Connector like this one here. Just to prove a point, I'm going to get a, 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 a clip for that there. So we're on down there and we're on there. That's what I wanted. So it controls both of them now. Right, so I've got these pinch connectors that won't focus. Oh, there we go. So I pinched it and I'm going to put rubberized tape on it. Okay, working fine. Yes, so before anybody says, I have got shrink wrap, and I forgot. 
I've joined them, so I've used rubberized tape. The rubberized tape you can get off eBay. If I find it, I'll put a link in the description. It's absolutely brilliant stuff. Uh, it self-bonds to it. It self-bonds? It self-bonds. Uh, I'm not a big editor, so some of the mistakes I'm going to leave in because that's the way I roll. All right, so I'm going to put this back together again, and uh, I'll just show you it's all, all done. Yep. And... Yep. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay, so that was it. If anybody's interested as well, sorry about the hand shaky movements on this box. I bought this off eBay. I sanded it down and then I covered it in car carpet. Um, looks okay. I like it. I like it with the rustic it is. I like my rustic van. I've got to finish it off at some point. But anyway, so now we've got the USBs working at the back as well. So I'm going to put a little shelf up there and I can put my phone on or anything else. So when you're at night and you want a bit of an alarm, I can do that. And I can also charge my phone at the same time. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That would be fantastic. Uh, the subscribe button, if you want to know, is just... Where is it? Uh, I can't see it now. Here. Just there. And the notification bell. That would be fantastic. Okay, yeah, like I said, I'll put a, if I can find the link, I'll put the link for that. It's a waterproof box. All you have to type in, waterproof box on eBay. That'll come up. Sand it, glue it, both sides, carpet side, plastic side, and that's done. And that's it. That's my solar. And that's my, and that's what I did. I don't I've got no mains in this van at all. If anybody's interested, I don't have mains, I don't need it. Um, we've done a lot of traveling for 20 years in, in, in an old motorhome and we sussed out what we wanted. We did need a shower. We've got a, uh, a Duco shower, porta potty, and that does us. That does us. Okay, take care. Like I said, like I said, take care. Just very quickly, okay. so I took off the ring, which will hold the um, USB device, you know, the USB port. Put marked it on there, marked it with a pencil. I'm just going to draw it out. Fitted. Uh, heated up an old socket on the cooker and then burnt a beautiful nice round hole. Look at that. Smart. Take care.